Hi guys, today I'll be showing you the 10 best apps for uh, Android rooted, rooted Android. Uh, just letting you guys know, I'm on 4.2.2 Samsung stock firmware. So let's right head into the content. First app we have is a GMD Gesture Control, which stands for Good Mode Droid Gesture Control. Uh, there's nothing in really into the app. You can see the uh, uh, presets of the gestures uh, but, I've, uh, but I've disabled that and set my custom gestures. I have three gestures right here uh, and my gestures let me let me ch ch swipe apps like they were photos like I can go into my previous app like this just like this I can change my apps like as if they were photos swiping my uh, and sorry about that sorry about that and and there's one more which is the talk which lets me see all my recent apps okay and that's all for GM's gesture control the second app is LMT this too is a gesture based app but this doesn't really do what GMD does but it has a special uh, feature called PIE which is PIE PIE and it's basically this right here you can see that it's got uh, you can set custom commands your apps right here and my com my commands are your uh, kill all apps then uh, previous app setting search camera app and the phone app and over here you can see uh, my system info like how much ram i'm free what's my wi-fi uh, strength then my notifications my current cpu frequency and here is the time so let's just kill all the apps that i'm running but that won't clear your recents like you'll see the apps on your recents but but these apps aren't really running they are all killed that frees up a lot of memory and that's all for uh, LMD LMT sorry uh, let's uh, head into the third app which is titanium backup it's a paid app I guess yeah it's a paid app and going uh, it's I I guess you guys know what it really does it's a it's kind of a backup and restore uh, app for Android uh, it really works good for root users because some um, like some people like me like to jump over firmwares so this comes really handy while retaining your apps and their data now you can see the different uh, in a moment you can see you'll be uh, yeah you can see the different kinds of backup you want to back up only the apps there data as well and then there are restore commands right here it backs up onto your SD card so like when you need when you are completely formatting your phone or restoring your phone or wiping its data you will need to back up the uh, apps and its, their data on the SD card then transfer it over to your computer then when after wiping install the app back then put the data back uh, I mean the backup and then you'll be able to restore let's go into sorry let's go into the fourth app which is greenify g r w -E e n i f y this greenify uh, it's a really nice tool for root, uh, for us for the root users uh, it what it basically does it doesn't let the the apps you selected run in, run in background so you can see uh, these apps they say hibernated like these apps have been uh, closed and what this does is when you select uh, these are the when you tap the add button it lets me it suggests me which which apps shouldn't be running in the background uh, but it only suggests like i uh, i need whatsapp notification so i didn't hibernate that or i need uh, alarm clock to be running or I, uh, or this is a widget so if i hibernate that widget will stop working so it just suggests select whichever you want to hibernate let's say i don't need triangle away running in the background so let's just hibernate that hibernating okay now that's be, uh, that's been hibernated it's been closed from the background and w uh, and like when you hib and it's uh, different from freezing because when once you freeze an app you won't be able really be able to use it but what this does is you will be able to run that app like i've uh, hibernated free facebook you'll be able to run that app that app will start from ground and when you press and uh, let's let that open up okay see when you can see the Facebook is open but when I press the home button it closes it doesn't stay into the RAM it'll show up on your recent apps 
it'll show up on your reach tabs but that isn't really running in the background that's been hibernated and it's been gone from your R uh, sorry ram now uh, the next app is data sync sorry about that the data sync what this does is it uh, synchronizes your app data over multiple android devices so uh, let's see, let's say i want to uh, sync the calendar data onto uh, my other android devices so i'll pick up my tablet uh, log in with the same username password and i'll be able to sync uh, calendar's um, data over to that tablet or maybe another phone you can do that with any app any system app too now the next app we have uh, is solid explorer it's it does work without root but then you won't be able to access the root files without rooting your phone so after root you'll be able to see uh, this option right here which is system root let's go into it and then you'll be able to access the root of your phone this i really like this browser uh, system um, file manager because uh, i like the user interface and it's very easy to use then you can set like it has two um, windows one is for sd card and one is for your internal memory you can set the defaults you can change it but st uh, but it's really handy let's move let's head on to the next app which is a vast mobile security this this also does run without root but uh, and it is an antivirus app and i don't and i don't really use it for antivirus the the main feature of this app is anti theft this runs very uh, really good with root and and if you have root uh, it'll ask you for the for your root permissions and after you head on to it oh sorry about that uh it's basically like find my iphone and it's reliable than what samsung offers or uh the same app without root and uh, it uh, you can wipe your data or maybe lock your phone from the internet if you lose if you lose it or misplace it next app is no fillers uh cpu control right here now this lets you overclock underclock and set your cpu frequencies you can see i'm on uh, stock frequency right now but you can go all the way up to sorry about that you can go all the way up to a uh, 1.8 gigahertz but that's not really stable i suggest you stay at 1.6 it's stable at 1.6 but uh, as you move on to 1.7 you start to lose control so just stay at 1.6 and you'll be good to go you can also change the governor like i power save this really resists uh, going to another frequency slab but it saves a lot of power but the default is this one p e g a s u s q i don't really know how to pronounce that but that is the default one so let me leave that to default i don't really want to save my battery this should be at 1.6 but i i'm not really an overclocking fan so i'm going to leave that there uh you you, uh, you can go up to 1.8 but i don't really recommend that because then the phone starts to lose control starts rebooting again and again i suggest you stay at 1.6 let's move on to the uh the next app which is triangle away now this app lets you avail warranty if you have uh maybe flashed custom firmware and uh maybe rooted your app so when you move so uh, if you rooted or put a custom firmware when and, and you go into the download mode you will see the counter which says custom uh, flash and there'll be the number of times you'll you've flashed a custom firmware now what this lets you does is reset that counter just click on this you'll be uh, and press continue it'll reset the counter it'll put it back to zero and and uh, and without booting if you a uh, flash uh, stock samsung firmware without root you will be good to go you will be able to uh, avail warranty they won't come to know that you have ever that you had ever rooted your phone or flashed across some firmware it'll say zero and none and i mean the counters and uh, the next app is uh, samba file share now this what let you what this app let you do is uh like um how do i put it it lets you access your phone over the network through wifi and let's enable it okay so after this file is running and i tap on enable 
uh, and when you uh, when you head on to your computer like on your Mac on the find the left you'll be able to, on the left panel you'll be able to see the phone and you'll be be able to access the internal as well as the external memory of the phone and on uh, uh, windows you'll need to go to network and then you'll be able to see the android phone and you'll be able to access the phone and that's all about samba file share uh, it's not really as fast as a usb cable but then it's cable free and it's yeah that's pretty much it i guess there are your 10 best apps for root on samsung galaxy s3 and on android and uh, my favorite ones are jmd gesture control lmt greenify titanium backup and avast mobile so guys thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for uh, upcoming videos on root and firmware reviews and maybe custom firmwares so just subscribe and leave up the thumbs up it really helps out thank you